Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 54 years since the iconic TV series The Brady Bunch, 1969, graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of The Brady Bunch. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey, okay? Let's explore together. In 1969, Robert Reed graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Mike Brady, a role he brought to life at the age of 37. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on May 12, 1992, he left us due to colon lymphoma and complications of AIDS at the age of 59 in Pasadena, California. Just one. Boys' clubhouses and men's locker rooms. That's two. Whatever happened to share and share alike? Carol, this is different. How? Mike Brady. In other words, when you got that job, you were a kind of a serious actor, right? Actor like Shakespeare, like theater, like... Christopher Knight graced the screen as the character, Peter Brady, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 12 during the 1969 filming. And now, at a youthful 66 years old, he now resides in New York City, New York, where he's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. For a guy to play. Uh, Betsy Ross? No, Benedict Arnold. Benedict Arnold? Yeah, how about that? Give me the test tube, you know, and the ticket, because you ain't going to be able to survive it. I can. Um, whether or not they do anything with that test tube. In 1969, Ann B. Davis graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Alice Nelson, a role she brought to life at the age of 43. It is with heavy hearts that we recall June 1st, 2014, when she sadly departed at the age of 88 in San Antonio, Texas, following a battle with subduro hematoma after a fall. <laughs> What's all that about, Alice? Well, I'm writing a jingle for the Everpressed Fabric Contest. I've got to think of a good last line to rhyme with Everpressed. Clearing her throat, for pity's sake. I'd be hacking away for the first half hour. Um, works very, works very hard. That, that, when we first did that show, she was... Maureen McCormick graced the screen as the character, Marsha Brady, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 13 during the 1969 filming. And now, at the age of 67, she resides in Encino, Los Angeles, California, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. Divine. Thanks. Well, I'm glad you told her. She doesn't believe me. Well, sometimes people say things just to be nice. Would we say things just to be nice? And remember, okay. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Oh. Right. Um, but it was not my first kiss. Barry, were you implying that it was my first? Susan Olsen graced the screen as the character Cindy Brady, casting her vibrant presence at the age of eight during the 1969 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 69-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Santa Monica, California. Sneaking. You just didn't see me because you were looking at your muscle. <laughs> Is it getting bigger? <laughs> Never mind that. Doghouse, yes. Yeah, that's right. That's why they kept it after Tiger was long gone. It was just so we had a place to make out. Really? <laughs> no. Florence Henderson graced the screen as the character Carol Brady, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 35 during the 1969 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on November 24th, 2016, due to heart failure at the age of 82 in Los Angeles, California. A few years ago, I thought it was the end of the world. No, it's just the beginning. For both of us. Uh-uh. For all of us. Before my children, and I was, I was on Broadway, I worked through four pregnancies. As a matter of fact, do you, do you remember, uh, well, of course you remember. In 1969, Barry Williams graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Greg Brady, a role he brought to life at the age of 15. And now, at the age of 69, he resides in Santa Monica, California, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. Gray Brady. What do I want your name for? <laughs> That's not...
there. Uh, I went with my family and my lovely wife, Tina, and son, my six, then 16-year-old son to watch the Yankees. Uh, In 1969, Mike Lookinlin graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Bobby Brady, a role he brought to life at the age of nine. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 63-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Mount Pleasant, Utah. How much more real could you be than, than making slabs of concrete? The 55-year-old now lives in Salt Lake City with his wife, Kelly. This is the... Alan Melvin graced the screen as the character Sam Franklin, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 46 during the 1969 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on January 17, 2008, he left us due to cancer at the age of 84 in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California single-handed you did you betcha it was in the middle of this enemy camp see surrounded by guns and tanks and planes and whatever i had over his talents to make yours come to the fore and he was never afraid to do anything like that and he was always full in 1969 eve plum graced the screen with her portrayal of the character jan brady a role she brought to life at the age of 11. And now, at a youthful 65 years old, she now resides in Burbank, California, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. First letter to my sister, and that beat up old portable I keep in my closet. Then you sent me the locket. I'm the guilty part. He's an actor, you're always hustling. And I think the minute you stop trying, stop pushing forward, stop learning, you might as well just step right into the coffin. C. Lindsay Workman graced the screen as the character Bertram Grossman, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 46 during the 1970 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on April 24, 2012, due to natural causes at the age of 88 in Los Angeles, California. He probably saw a mouse or something. Not a mouse, Mr. Brady. There are no mice in this house, Mrs. Hunsaker. Excuse me while I catch some ghosts. Share your favorite character from the TV series The Brady Bunch with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.